my Christmas present to my atheists and religious friends. I'm now only 72 years old, and for 22 years I taught electronic systems at colleges of higher and further education. When I became a Christian, not that I knew the term, on the 16th of January 1970, I was virtually illiterate. I'd left school at the age of 15 years old, with no qualifications, could hardly read or write or spell. However, at the age of 12, I had developed a keen interest in crystal sets and radio reception or wireless as we called it. And I could understand and describe how half-wave and full-wave rectifying circuits worked, including AM demodulators. On leaving school, went on to day release at a technical college, but my studies was interrupted as I was sent to Borstal training. I became a Borstal graduate in 1968. When I became a Christian, went back to technical education at Luton College of Science and Technology. And after two years, in 1972, qualified with the City and Guilds in radio, television and electronic servicing. I went on to higher education and graduated from, from Wolverhampton Polytechnic with a certificate in education awarded by Birmingham University and went on to teach electronic systems in colleges of further and higher education for the next 22 years. I taught students from the age of 15 to old age and when I taught, I taught with the assumption that they knew nothing about the subject and I always began by asking the question, what is an electric current? Going on to describe the component parts to the atom. And then went on to describe the motion of electrons through a conductor. Leading on to Ohm's law. I demonstrated Ohm's law in practice, by experience and proof by experiment. Arriving at conclusion that they could express Ohm's law in words. And at the end of the classes, the students could express Ohm's law in words, namely, the current flow through a conductor is directly proportional to the applied voltage, but inversely proportional to its resistance, provided the resistance of the circuit remains constant. I've told all about my conversion from Crime to Christ in my book, Converted on LSD Trip, and how I was called by name, by the Lord Jesus Christ himself to follow him, and of the subsequent change in my life, along with my encounter with the religious world. I had to learn and study the Bible myself before I could consider joining any Christian group, and there were many. It is with this in mind I wish to introduce my serious student to, to the Bible, to systematic theology, and also to the Christian books and texts that I found extremely helpful. Christian literature that will help you and equip you to encounter the many deceptive ways of the religious world. First of all, listen to R.C. Sproul on his introduction to systematic theology, and then to my playlist of Dr. John Gill's Body of Doctrine and Divinity, and also William Pollock's recommendation, Louis Burkhoff's Systematic Theology. I like such books to circuit description of an electronic system, which once understood can assist in fault finding and operational correction of any circuit involved. You can access the text of these books via the links listed below. And I am also available to give talks or lectures on a range of Christian subjects, including an understanding of systematic theology, and to tell of our extensive work and ongoing mission work to the jails of the Philippines. I'm available to travel at home and abroad, or we could conduct an online educational programme.